The green frog is one of New England's three green-faced frogs, and by that I really mean the green upper lip, along with the bullfrog and the mink frog. All of them have mottled brown and green bodies that vary a lot from site to site. The green frog has dorsolateral ridges, unlike the bullfrog, and it's a medium-sized frog that's really widespread and very common, well-known to most of us in New England. It, unlike most of the amphibians, spends its time in the water during the day, right around the margins of wetlands, uh, permanent wetlands, uh, sometimes uh, streams, slow-moving sections of streams. Surprisingly, most of the feeding of the green frog is really on land. On wet evenings, the green frog leaves these ponds and feeds on land in the vicinity of the ponds. It needs permanent water to successfully build up a population because the tadpoles need to go through at least one winter, if not two, under the ice. So a conservation concern for this particular species would be the need to have undeveloped areas of shoreline and surrounding habitat where this species can travel and feed on those warm rainy nights. The green frog calls late into the summer. It's in no hurry to mate and doesn't until the temperature gets particularly warm. The green frog's call sounds not unlike a loose banjo string being plucked. The green frog also makes a squeaking noise or a sque short screaming noise as you scare it and as it jumps into the water.